sinner, have mercy, Father. O God, be gracious unto me, sinner, have mercy, Father. O God, be gracious unto me, sinner, have mercy, Father. Master, give the blessing. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory to Thee, O our God, glory to Thee, O Heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who is everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, the very Christ our King and our God. Thank you. May the Lord hear thee in the day of tribulation. May the name of the God of Jacob protect thee. May he send thee help from the sanctuary and defend thee out of Zion. May he be mindful of all thy sacrifices and may the whole burnt offering be made fat. May he give thee according to thine own heart and confirm all thy counsels. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in, thy, in the name of our God we shall be exalted. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now I have known that the Lord hath saved his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven, and salvation, the salvation of his right hand is in powers. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They are bound and have fallen, but we are risen and are set upright. O Lord, save the king and hear us in the day that we shall call upon thee. In thy strength, O Lord, the king shall joy, and in thy salvation he shall rejoice exceedingly. Thou hast given him his heart's desire and hast not withholden from him the will of his lips. For thou hast prevented him with blessings of sweetness. Thou hast set on his head a crown of precious stones. He asked life of thee, and thou hast given him length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Glory and great beauty shall thou lay upon him. For thou shalt give him to be a blessing forever and ever. Thou shalt make him joyful and gladness with thy countenance. For the king hopeth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High he shall not be moved. Let thy right hand be found by all thy enemies. Let thy right hand find out all them that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as an oven of fire in the time of thy anger. The Lord shall trouble them in his wrath, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they have intended evils against thee, and they have devised counsels which they have not been able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn thy back, turn their back, and their remnants, in thy remnants thou shalt prepare, prepare the, their face. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy own strength. We will sing and praise thy power. <laughs> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Lord, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over other adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O champion dread who cannot be put to confusion, Despise not our petitions, O good and all praise, Theotokos. Establish the way of the Orthodox. Save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave us birth to God, and alone I bless it. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Bless Father in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. <coughs> O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me around about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath, for thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the, fla in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down, and to the end, all the day long, I went down, I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mocking, and there is no healing in my flesh. 
I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, thy, my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things, and craftiness all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord. Thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live, and are made stronger than I. And they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lies, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remembered thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these, in vain have they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, every one shall be praised that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day I have cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear into my supplication, for filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit, I have become as a man without help. Free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me, they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up and not come forth. Mine eyes have grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth in that destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness and that, in thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten? But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul and turneth thy face away from me? A poor man of mine troubles from my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came around me about like water all the day long. They compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day I have cried and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Bow down thine ear into my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, and thy youth shall be renewed as the evils. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us. 
neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, so far so the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know its place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He has sat me in darkness as those that have long been dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old and meditated on all thy works. I pottered in the creation of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for in thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me, and in thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy my enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of a brightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope. Glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and for armed forces everywhere, for this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, and especially for those suffering for the faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, 
Most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Righteousness, ye that dwell upon the earth. Alleluia. Alleluia. shall devour the adversaries. <clears throat> upon those who are glorious upon the earth. Blessed, blessed. 
Have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Adulterous woman approaching thee, O Christ, and pouring on thy feet ointment with tears, was delivered by thy command from the rottenness of iniquity. But thine disciple who was fully possessed of thy grace rejected it and wallowed in the mire selling thee with the love of silver wherefore glory be to thy compassion O love The deceitful Judas, because of his lust for silver, O Lord, the treasury of life, plotted thy betrayal with deceit. Wherefore he ran madly to the law transgressing Jews, and said unto them, what will ye give me, and I will surrender him to you, 
glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The adulterous woman, O compassionate one, cried to thee, moaning, and with the hair of her head, wipe thy feet fervently. Deeply sighing, as she said, Put me not away, O my God, and reject me not, but accept me repentant and save me. For thou alone art the lover of mankind, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The adulterous woman, O compassionate one, crying to thee, moaning, and with the hair of her head, wipe thy feet fervently, deeply sighing, as she said, Put me not away, O my God, and reject me not, but accept me repentant, and save me. For thou alone art the lover of mankind. And that he may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Yes, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. At that time, the crowd that had been with Jesus when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. The reason why the crowd went to meet him was that he heard he had done this sign. The Pharisees then said to one another, You see that you can do nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. Now among those who went up to worship at the feast were some of the Greeks. And so these came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Andrew went with Philip, and they told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life loses it. And he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there shall my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing by heard it and said that it had thundered. Others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to myself. He said this to show by what death he was to die. The crowd answered him, we have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. He who walks in darkness does not know where he goes. While you have light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of the light. When Jesus had said this, he departed and hid himself from them. Though he had done so many signs before them, yet they did not believe in him. It, is, was, it was that the word spoken by the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. 
Lord, who has believed our report, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore they could not believe. For Isaiah again said, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, lest they should see with their eyes and understand with their heart and turn for me to heal them. Isaiah said this because he saw his glory and spoke of him. Nevertheless, even many of the authorities believed in him, but for fear of the Pharisees, they did not confess it, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. And Jesus cried out and said, He who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And he who sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my sayings and does not keep them, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my sayings has a judge. The word, the word that I have spoken will be his judge on the last day, for I have not spoken on my own authority. The Father who sent me has given himself, given me a commandment to say what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I say, therefore, I say as the Father has bidden me. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Make me to hear sounds of joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. Sacrifices to God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you should be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and full burnt offering. Then they shall offer bullocks upon thine altar. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. established me upon the rock of faith, and hast unbroadened my voice against mine enemies. For my soul rejoiceth in her own singing, there is none holy as the Lord God, and there is none righteous beside thee, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as pure, to whom we sing, Thou art our God, and there is none holy beside Thee, O Lord, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Verily, the wicked law transgressing counsel, since their souls are wicked and God contending, conspire to kill Christ the righteous as one lacking goodness. <clears throat> Wherefore to him we sing, Thou art our God, and there is none holy beside thee, O Lord. <clears throat> Thou hast established me upon the rock of faith, and hast unbroadened my voice against mine enemies. For my soul rejoiceth in her own singing. There is none holy as the Lord God, and there is none righteous beside thee, O Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For thou art our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. I have sinned against thee, O good one, more than the adulterous woman, and have not even offered thee a flood of tears. But silently and calmly I kneel, asking, kissing thy pure feet with longing, that thou mayest grant me, O Savior, since thou art the master, a mission of my sins, who cry, Deliver me from the mire of my deeds. The shameless woman of old suddenly appeared chaste, despising her horrible deeds of sin and the pleasures of the body, contemplating her great shame and the condemnation of punishment, which the adulterous and insolent of whom I am first endure. I tremble thereat, yet I who am ignorant am confirmed in my evil habits. But the adulterous woman trembled with fear and hastened to her rescuer, crying, O lover of mankind, rescue me from the mire of my deeds. The more accurate and exacting of the commentators on the four Gospels say that the two women anointed the Lord, one long before his passion and one a few days before. One of these was a harlot, while the other was a chaste, virtuous woman. On this day, the Church commemorates this act of piety and righteousness, which proceeded from the harlot, contrasting it with the treachery of Judas and his betrayal of Christ. Both of these acts fell on Wednesday, corresponding to the 21st of March, two days before the Mosaic Passover, as it appears from the course of the account of St. Matthew the Evangelist. The above-mentioned harlot anointed the head and feet of Jesus with spikenard and wiped them with the hair of her head. The precious ointment was worth 300 dinars, or about 15 pieces of Venetian gold. When the disciples saw this, they stumbled, especially Judas, the money lover, and were angry because of the wasting of such an amount of ointment. Jesus rebuked them, lest the woman be embarrassed. Judas was wroth and went to the high priest, where they were gathered in the house of Caiaphas, taking counsel against Jesus, and agreed with them to deliver the master for thirty pieces of silver. From that time, Judas sought an opportunity to deliver him. Because of this, the fast of Wednesday was instituted from the days of the apostolic age itself. Wherefore, Christ God, anointed with the supersensuous ointment, deliver us from suffering, and have mercy upon us. Amen. Verily, the furnace of old was heated sevenfold by the usurper's command, and in it the youths were not burned, but they walked at the command of the king, shouting, Praise the Lord, all his works, exalt him more.
adulterous woman, O Christ, poured precious ointment on thy divine, terrible, lordly head. She held thy pure feet with her defiled hands and cried, Bless the Lord, all ye his works, and exalt him more and more unto the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. She who was under the guilt of iniquity, washed the feet of the Creator with her tears, and wiped them with her hair. Wherefore she was not disappointed of salvation. In spite of the sins she had committed during her life, but shouted, Praise the Lord, all his works, exalt him more and more unto the ages. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Thou hast accomplished redemption for her who, with panty motions of salvation and fountains of tears, in which confessing she had been washed, was of grateful mind, not being ashamed, but crying. Praise the Lord, all ye his works, and exalt him more and more unto the ages. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. Verily the furnace of old was heated sevenfold by the usurper's command, and in it the youths were not burned. But they walked at the command of the king, shouting, Praise the Lord, all his works, exalt him more and more unto the ages. spotless one, the mother of Emmanuel, whom we offer as an intercessor to him, who was born of her, saying, Pity our souls, O Christ God, and save us. The evil Judah seemed disloyal wickedly zealous when he consented to sell the gifts worthy of God, through whom the depths of sin were undone, adulterating the God-beloved grace. Wherefore, O Christ God, have pity on our souls and save us. Glory to the Father to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Verily did Judas go unto the law transgressing chiefs and said to them, What will ye give me to deliver unto you the Christ whom ye seek, exchanging his adoption for gold? Wherefore, O Christ our God, have more pity on our souls and save us. Both now and ever and unto ages of a ages, amen. Ah, for thy vicious love of silver, thou traitor which made thee forget that the whole world doth not equal one soul, as thou didst learn, for burning with despair. Thou didst hang thyself, O betrayer, 
but O Christ our God, have pity on our souls and save us. Come, let us magnify with undefiled souls and pure lips that immaculate, most spotless one, the mother of Emmanuel, whom we offer as an intercessor to him, who was born of her, saying, Pity our souls, O Christ God, and save Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise thee, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages.
imploring thee, having committed deeds demanding tears, and said, Loose thou my debt, as I have loosed my brace. Love thou her who is hated with reason, that I may make a vow to thee with the publicans. O benefactor and lover of mankind. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. When the adulteress mixed her tears with ointment of great price and poured it over thy pure feet, kissing them. Thou didst immediately justify her, wherefore grant forgiveness to us, and redeem us, O Thou who for us did suffer. Praise Him with a timbrel and dance, praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. When the sinful woman was offering her spites, the disciple was making a bargain with the transgressors of the law. The one rejoiced in pouring out the spice so great in price, while the other hastened to sell the priceless one. The one knew the master, the other was separated from the Lord. She was freed, and Judas became a slave to the enemy. Indifference is evil, but great is repentance. The latter grant to us, O Savior, and redeem us who for us did suffer. Praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ah, for the wretchedness of Judas, for seeking the adulteress, kiss the traces of his feet. He was thinking deceit of the kiss of betrayal. She loosed her braids, and he was bound with wrath, offering instead of spice rotted evil. For envy knoweth not how to honor anything which is good. Woe to the wretchedness of Judas, and save from it our souls, O God. Two ages of pain. 
Verily she who was immersed deep in sin found in thee a haven, a haven of salvation. She poured on thee spices with tears and cried out unto thee, saying, Look upon me, O thou who dost accept the repentance of transgressors, and save me, O Master, from the tempest of sins, for the sake of the riches of thy mercy. Thine is the glory, O Lord our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been a refuge in all generations. I said, Be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, and thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy commandments. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy precepts. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever, O despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship, to thee belongeth praise, to thee belongeth glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto you ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o for an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls, and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life, in peace and repentance for a christian end to our life painless blameless peaceful and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of christ let us ask of the lord this, o lord calling to remembrance our all holy immaculate most blessed and glorious lady theotokos and ever virgin mary with all the saints let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto christ our god to thee, o Lord. for thou art the god of mercies and of bounties and of love toward mankind and unto thee we ascribe glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To thee, o Lord. For thine it is to show mercy and to save us, <laughs> O our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Today hath Christ come to the house of the Pharisee, and a sinful woman approached and fell at his feet, crying, Look at her who is drowned in sin, and who is despondent by reason of her deeds, and who is not rejected by the goodness. Grant me, O Lord, forgiveness of iniquity and save me. We are filled in the morning with thy mercy. O Savior, the adulteress stretched forth her hair to thee, and Judas stretched forth his hands to the transgressors of the law. She to gain forgiveness, and he to receive silver. Wherefore we cry unto thee, O thou who was sold and didst free us, O Lord, Glory be to thee. Look upon thy servants and upon their works, and direct thy children. An unclean woman, spattered with mud, <clears throat> came shedding tears at thy feet, O Savior, for warning in this of the passion and crying. How shall I gaze at thee, O Master? For thou hast come to save the adulteress. <clears throat> Raise me from the depths, I who am dead. O thou who didst raise Lazarus from the tomb after four days. And accept me, the wretched one, and save me. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us. She who was despondent because of her misconduct, and whose character was known, did come unto thee bearing spices and crying, Cast me not away, an adulteress. O thou who was born of the Virgin, and turn not away from my tears, O joy of the angels. But accept me, O Lord, whom thou didst not put away because of sin, for thy great mercy. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of
It is a good thing to confess unto the Lord, to sing thy name, O Most High, to show <laughs> forth thy mercy in the morning and thy truth by night. Holy, Holy God, God, Holy, Holy Mighty, Mighty, Holy, Holy Immortal, Immortal, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Holy, Holy God, God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. God, Holy Mighty, Holy Holy Immortal, have have mercy mercy us. us. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
I have sinned against thee, O good one, more than the adulterous woman, and have not even offered thee a flood of tears. But silently and calmly I kneel, asking, kissing thy pure feet with longing, that thou mayest grant me, O Savior, since thou art the master remission of my sins, who cried, Deliver me from the mire of my deeds. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the Word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. Christ our God, the existing one, is blessed. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, strengthen our civil authorities, establish the faith, pacify the nations, give peace to the world, protect this city, place our departed fathers and brethren in the dwellings of the just, and of thy goodness and mercy, receive us also who come to thee with penitence and thanksgiving. O Lord, and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, faint-heartedness, lust of power, and idle tongue. Lord, give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love for thy servant. Yes, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own sins and not, not to judge, judge my, my brother. For thou art blessed, blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May he who is going to his voluntary passion for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of St. Barnabas, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and love us mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. 